Hello there. It's Mrs. Flynn. And Mr. Rops. And we're here back again with podcasts. So in this unit, we're going to first start off by talking about gradient, which is? Gradient, that's another word for slope. For slope. I knew that was going to happen. Oh, it's on the... oh down. Mm. you moved it on. Yeah, there. it moved all by itself. Oh, okay. So slope, and we can also call this rate of change. Oh, I love rates of change. Rates of change are found everywhere. Anytime you see like kilometers per hour rate of change. All right, so let's talk about how do you calculate slope or, or gradient or also known as M. M. Well, we could talk about rise over run. Well, if we are rising on a graph, rising, that's what is changing? Rising is vertical. Rise is vertical. So that are Y values. Those are our Y values. So mm -hmm. I could call that as change in y and here's another symbol you might not have seen before delta means change in y one. divided by our run which is change in x nice delta y over delta x i like it and and since we're talking about the change in the y values if we're given two points we could say y2 minus y1 right because it's the difference between two y values that's that's the change that's the change all over x2 minus x1 right so if we do x2 and y2 they both have to be first or we could switch around and go y1 minus y2, but as long as we're consistent with right. the order. Start with the same point. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Good, enough? Good. Yep. Okay. So let's just go ahead and calculate some of these. So let's find the gradient of the lines on the graph. Okay. Well, let's just start here. We'll start with this line. Okay. So if we're going to find the gradient of this line, I don't know. Let's pick some points. This looks mm -hmm. like a good point. Yep. Because it's on a nice cross. Of, cross. Yes. Here's another one. Right. Where would be a bad point? Oh, uh, right here. Oh, okay, right, because there's no, we can't find that coordinate yeah, very Yeah, so easy. I always look for the crisscross. Okay. Look for the crisscross. Okay, so let's just go ahead and write these points out. This point here is 0, 3. Mm -hmm. And here is 1, 1. Ooh, easy. Okay. Just taking a look at that, do you think it's going to have a positive or a negative slope? I think it's going to have a negative slope. And I always think about it as... If I'm starting on the left-hand side, I could ski down the hill. Oh. It's negative. <laughs> we just want to ski, and that's why we're talking about that. Okay. Um, let's see. We'll, should we do which formula should we use? Uh, let's do y2 minus y1. Or you want to do rise over run and just count. Okay, let's do that. Rise over run. Okay, so let's see. How much do we rise? I go rise. One. Do, 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 do. Two. So I'm rising up, so that means positive 2. And how much do I run? I run two. to do, the do, do, left, left. That means negative 1. So that's negative 2 altogether. So my slope is negative 2. But hold on a second. Do we have to go, could we, what I would have had started if we would have started at 3, 0, 3? And so start here. Yeah. Let's see. Okay. Now let's see how much we rise. Oh, now I have to go down. Oh, okay. One. Two. Two. Negative two. And how much do I run to the oh. right? Oh, positive one. And so, still giving us a negative two. All right, so it doesn't matter which way we go. We it does. All right. Okay, well, let's go ahead and pick two more points here. There's one right there. That's a nice one. And might as well. Or that one here is even a good one, too. Yeah, let's go for those two. Okay. And okay, let's name these points. This is three, negative one. And this one here? Six zero. Six, zero. And if we look at this, we know that it is a positive slope positive. skiing up the hill. Skiing up the hill. Let's go ahead and just use this y2 minus y1 equation. Okay. All over x2 minus x1. Okay. All right. So which point are we going to call like y x2, y2? Okay. We'll call this one x2, y2. Okay. Therefore, this is x1, y1. So, 0 minus negative 1. Negative oh. 1. Careful Double. those signs. Yes. And then 6 minus three. 3. Okay. So, this becomes plus 1 over 3. 3. Cool. Okay. And if we check to count it, we go. Let's see. Rise uh, up 1 plus 1. Uh, right. Uh, Three. Yes. Plus three. One, One over three. three. Excellent. Okay, cool. Excellent. Okay, so this problem is talking about sketch a line with gradient two over three. Well, when we do this, we can start at any point we want. So I'm going to start here. And I rise up two. 
and I run over 3, and I make my new point. I rise over positive run, and I go here. And so I get this line that goes here. I, as I said, I could start with any point. So if I start, let's say, with this point here, if I rise up 2, I run over 3, I'm here. Rise up 2, run over 3, I run out of space, but I can connect these two points here. And if I draw it accurately, these both have the same gradient or same slope of 2 thirds. And these lines here are parallel. Now let's try the slope of negative 2. So I know it's rise over run equal to negative 2 over, well, underneath here is a 1. And let me change colors here. Let's change to red. So the negative, I'm going to start at a point, and I'm going to rise negatively. So I'm going to go down 2. The run is a positive. So I'm going to run over 1. Rise 2, down 2, and here. And then when I connect them, I get that line there. Now it's possible that I could have said 2 over negative 1. And so if I choose a point, I start here, I could rise up 2, and a run of negative 1 puts me there. Rise up 2, a run of negative 1 is here. And I get then the point, the line that goes here. And as you can see, hopefully, these two lines are parallel. So as long as I use the negative sign once, whether that's on the top or the bottom, all will work out fine. Let's try number four now, last example. What is the slope of the line that passes through those two points? Well, slope is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Oh, x. Let's call this x1 y1 and x2 y2 and so if I plug my values in it's negative 2 minus 3 over 6 is x2 minus 1 I get negative 5 over positive 5 which is negative 1 ah one more example, a line with a gradient of 2 passes through 2, 12, and negative 1, a. I need to find a. Well, my slope again, y2 minus y1 over x2, I'll make that an x, minus x1. x1, y1, x2, y2. And so I'm going to plug values in. I know the slope equals 2. y2 is a minus y1 is 12 over x2 which is negative 1 minus 2. So if I simplify this I get 2 is equal to a minus 12 over negative 3. To get rid of the negative 3 with my fractions what we learned before we multiply both sides of the equation by negative 3. That will cancel here. And so I'm left with negative 6 equals a minus 12. Add 12 to both sides. And I get a is equal to 6. And so if this value here of a is equal to 6, these two points will have a gradient of 2. There's your introduction to gradient or slope.